Hello guys, welcome to Specflow tutorial Behavior Driven Development or BDD session 9. In today's session, you can learn about Specflow tagged hooks. So you already learned about the hooks and tag used in Specflow in my previous video. So hooks are nothing but the precondition and the or the postcondition user want to set generically. Whereas tag done nothing but in case you want to segregate your scenario or the feature based on your testing type, based on your application or based on other parameter, right? But here in today's session you can learn how we can integrate tagged with the hooks. So tagged hooks are basically the problem solver when user need to perform different hooks action for different scenarios. To explain in a simpler way think user have five different tags like sanity, regression, integration, end-to-end, -end, UAT, etc. which need to be tested with different URL where tag hooks will play a pivotal role. Sometime user need to execute scenario based on the browser. It can be Safari, it can be Mozilla Firefox or it can be Google Chrome. Similarly, the scenario need to be executed in different operating system like Macs, Windows or Linux etc. So what we will do, we will go to the features file and we will go to the scenario or the features based on the different tags and we will go to the hooks then we will map those tags with the relevant hook so that whenever I want to run my relevant tags to relevant hooks wherever the tags is associated that will be called. So in the f in the previous session you already learned about the hooks concept, right? How we can add the hooks. So there are different five types of hooks available like test run, uh, feature, right? Then scenario and then scenario block and then steps. So these are the five different combinations for before and after every time. And in the last session we have used couple of similar hooks at the same time. So in case you want to use the similar hook, so hook's name will not change but every time the method name you need to change it. But in case you are having similar hooks, right, you can prioritize them with the help of the order so that you can order them, right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 like that. So you need to add the order in the hooks. And tag you already seen, right, in the features file I need to add the tag either at the feature level or the scenario level. So here we have two features file, one is Google feature and one is the Facebook feature. In the Google features file, there are only three scenario with the help of the scenario outline and with the help of example, I want to run the three scenario where I have used two tags, UAT and regression and in the Facebook dot home feature, right, only one tag is available for the one scenario is called MOOC, MOOC tag, right, that is the only tag available. Now if you go to the specflow.hooks class, you could see all the five combination of the hooks is there. Apart from that, right, the before scenario and after scenario hook I have tried to use three times. So definitely I have changed the method name and I have given the order 10, 20, 30 so that those hooks will be executed based on my order, right, from the lowest to highest. Now let's try to execute the project where definitely both the features file will be executed and from the google.pictures file three scenario and the facebook dot facebook home.pictures file one scenario will be executed so total four scenario will be executed so to execute it you need to go to the test tab and you need to go to the test explorer and you can run all right so all your scenario will be executed so now we have implemented the tags and hooks is there but we did not associate the tag with the hooks so first running it without association of the tag with hooks. So all the four scenario will be run here from the two features file. You could see this is your Facebook home page scenario and here right all the relevant hook is running and before scenario is running three times in the order whatever order we have given like order equal to 10, 23. So 10 was given for the scenario 1. 20 was given for the scenario 2 and 30 was given for the scenario 2 so that is the reason same ordering it is working. Now we did not associate the tag with the hook that is the reason all the hooks is running for all the scenario. 
right it is running here now if you want to right check it with the help with the help of the group right with the help of the tag how the execution is happening so you need to select it right you need to click on that uh, group by option and then you need to select threads option so you could able to see right based on the tag how it is running for the regression three scenario was there for the uat three scenario was there for the smook one scenario was there now if you want to run only the only the scenario where the specific tag is present you can select the tag and you can right click and then run it so that is the way you can run it from the tag level as well instead of running all your scenario now we will try to implement the tag in the hook itself so there are two way we can implement it one is user can use the new scope attribute to specify the tag so how we can do that so after the hook we need to use scope and then tag equal to the tag name suppose say i will go to the hooks class and where we have three similar kind of hooks for the before scenario and after scenario so here after the before scenario i will give third bracket and then i will be using the first option called scope so i will be using scope automatic suggestion will come then here within the bracket i need to type tags you could see that suggestion is coming tag equal to suppose say i want to run called smook so it should be match with the exact tag name whatever we have given in the pictures file so here uh, in the facebook dot home pictures we have given the smook so that is matching here right so similar way for the after hook also after scenario also i will be giving the same same hook same tag in the scope so that is the one way you can associate right tag with the hooks another way user can also specify the tag scoping in the step attributes constructor now we'll go to the second hooks right where uh, the priority is given then here i'll be creating a constructor so before scenario and here this is the options i can use it right Be before scenario then simply first bracket and then you need to give the hooks name so say hook name called uh, so smook is already associated then i want to associate a regression right so i can copy it and i can paste it within the double quote so that is the way now i will be i am having three different type of similar hooks for the after scenario before scenario so for the two of them i have associated tags but one is without tag so what will happen in case you associate hooks with the tag right so those hooks will be called based on the tag but in case any generic hooks is available without tag means that will be generic for all the scenario so that will be executed for all the scenario so that way right you can associate tag with hook or you cannot so you are you you just simply leave it blank so that it will be always executed for the all the generic scenario now out of three similar scenario we have associated two with the relevant hook and the third one is without any 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 tag right now let's try to execute it so you can go to the test and you can go to the test explorer and you just try to execute it so for regression and the smoke tag we have associated the hook right so it will try to execute first all the scenario from both the pictures file and you will be able to get the desired result also so if you expand the smook tag and if you select the relevant scenario you could able to see right it is executing 1 2 and 3 okay if you go to the regression tag you could able to see here the three scenario only executing right scenario 2 and scenario 3 because the other tag is not available here so that is the way right it will based on the tag right relevant hook it will try to execute it now say i want to execute only based on the regression tag right so you can run it with the help of the tag and you can you would able to get the desired result instead of running all your scenario based on the tag you can just try to run it and definitely the relevant hooks will be triggered right you could see again the scenario 2 and 3 
So for the three scenario, it's generic. We did not given any hook, right? You, we did not given any tag for that particular hooks. But for the scenario two, we have given associated with the help of the regression tag. That is the reason it is being called. But for the scenario one, right? In method before scenario one, it is not getting executed because it is not matching here, right? So you could see for the scenario one, only smoke was there, right? So that is the reason it is not getting executed. So that way, right? You can first define the tag at your scenario at your features file level and after that you can as, uh, go to the hooks class and you can add multiple hooks after that you can associate it the stack with the hooks right so here it will be before scenario here it will be after scenario not the before one right so that is the way right tagged hooked will help you in the split flow framework so that's all from today's session. Thank you.